down in numbers. Oh, well, that's less cool, but, yeah. you know, yes, you take what is, you can get. It is Sub, who is the number one in Kaleftiu. Uh He plays, I think he plays several characters. Mm. I know he has a Dr. Mario, for instance. Um, oh, okay, I think I've seen that. Yeah. Uh, he didn't do too hot last Nukhen, I think. Oh, they're going at it. Um, and on on Ganon, <laughs> we have Jack, yeah. Stockholm player, also been playing forever. Uh, I think he's ranked 17 in Stockholm currently. <coughs> also winner of uh, doubles yesterday, of course, if you yes. missed that. With Dady, who we saw earlier. Yeah, I thought this was kind of like a hand warmer thing, but yeah. they're going at it now. Um, they're going to final first stage, which yeah. I think is a bit weird for the Peach. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, but uh, well, but I'm li not sure, like, like, like you said earlier, maybe sub may maybe sub knows something we don't. Yeah, it's entirely possible. I mean, he could just be extremely uh, used to playing on the stage, right? It's true. Uh -huh. That's always true. Like that's always the thing with the personal preference. Oh, well, okay. he's gonna die from that. Uh, Jack looking a bit confused. I yeah. think he thought that he had to jump. Yeah. Uh, which happens in this game yeah, a lot. Yeah, a recurring. Recurring theme, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you will. But uh, yeah, I, don't I? Like, uh, I don't think like anyone except for Sebovic plays Ganon, and he doesn't really play Ganon anymore. Uh, He's more of a puff player yeah, these days. In the north, so this matchup, you know, it, you can really abuse a ton of stuff versus Ganon, of course. I mean, yeah, it is known. <laughs> it is but known. But if you don't know the things, then it's not yeah. known. So I mean, it can be scary yeah. too, you know, because you have to kind of respect him. You know, he's, he's a really heavy hitter. Yeah, for Especially sure. if you're a floaty, like if he gets back aired, <laughs> right? <laughs> case case in point. Um, but yeah. you know, sub is looking solid. Like this, uh, this is a set I think that could go either way. Absolutely. Because, um, like I said, Jack has been playing for a long time, but he's also not, you know, the highest ranked player. Whereas sub has, you know, it's number one in the city. Yeah, yeah. Like that's gotta count for something, right? Yeah. Even like disregarding player skill, just the fact, like being being top ranked. Wherever you are, if you have a scene, uh, comes with its own benefits and drawbacks, you know? For like sure, for especially sure. Especially in tournament, I think. Kind it's of a home turf. Yeah, home turf advantage. Yeah. And, and like, just, just being um, conditioned for the, you know, the headhunting experience. Yeah, right? exactly, exactly. I feel like Jack might be, I mean, the underdog advantage, obviously, like, historically, is it's yeah. worth a lot as well, but. That's true. But it's extremely close here. Good DI. Yeah. He's gonna live that. Well, let's see if he can make it down. But he's scary situation sure, if right? you sub. Whoa. He's gonna live that too. Okay. That's death. Yeah. That's. Um. That that's also the thing with this stage. I mean, Peach doesn't really have any f like fast ways to KO Ganon here. Yeah. Um. And. In other matchups, Peach is kind of a, you know, the tank, so to speak. Like yeah. she, except for the fact that she's a floaty and dies early upwards, she's she's a tanky character. Like she can yeah, take she hits a really hard. She can take abuse. They're, they're <laughs> kind of similar in in a lot of ways, actually. Yeah, characters. and that's that's that was my point. That, but I think that it benefits Ganon more here uh, yeah. because he has those scary heavy hits. Yeah, for um. sure. I mean, as Peach, you can play super, super lame. I mean, you can kind of box Ganon out with float back airs, right? Yeah. But I don't. Sub doesn't seem like he wants to go for that type of strategy. You know, he's not throwing a million turnips and just back airing. Yeah. So you kind of lose that advantage a bit as well. So. Yeah, I think so as well. He's gonna live that, yeah. but this is a really scary situation, especially since it's last stop. Oh, he got back. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Okay. One up, Jack. Yeah. I think if you're Jack, because um, he has a band, this is Pools. 
he should ban a small stage. And I think that if... I don't think Sub should go to Dreamland. He's going back? Mm, yeah. I wouldn't also he is not going go to Dreamland. Dreamland. That's, interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. I for sure thought he would go, like, Battlefield, but... Yeah. But then again, like... Battlefield like can be a bitch for Peach players. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it, for sure. Like, uh, it's mentally. And like we said earlier, you know, there's also the question of... Uh, your personal preference. Yeah. Uh, a lot of Peach players feel safe at this stage. Yeah, I guess like if you're a Peach player who's come up, especially like after the rise of netplay. Yeah. Maybe it's just like Dreamland's my safe zone, right? Right. Uh, yeah. That the fox can't get me here. Yeah, that was my point as well. I think so. But it's also you know being a dual main. Maybe Sub should have opted for his Dr. Mario. Like yeah. you, that, that could be a strategy as well. But let's see what he's what he's going to do here. I mean, as for Dr. Mario, I mean, you can assume that even if Jack has played a ton, yeah, you know, very few Dr. Mario matchup experts in the world. Yeah, like n not a lot of Dr. Marios around at all. So, I'm sure. Oh, yes, he said oh he that's that. Jack that doesn't seem very flustered, so... He doesn't. He... He kind of laughs it off. Oh, nice power shot there. He's, he's kind of playing a bit slower here. Um... Who? Kind of working Sub out. is? Sub. Yeah, I yeah. feel like he's... Not committing as hard. He's looking more solid, for sure. Doesn't get hit by the down smash. Up throw. Mm. I would play this a ton. I mean, I, I used to play Peach, right? So yeah. Kind of. It seems kind of hard to to come like convert off of grabs. Yeah, and, and I also think like we're seeing a lot of up throws. Yeah. From sub. Um, and I don't want to like rag on the guy, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I think that getting Ganon off stage is all is always, you know, a good option. Mm, yeah. So uh, if he's at high percentage, he should go for for that. Um, but you know, he might be approaching it like he would versus Captain Falcon. I don't know. Very I'm possible. I'm not sure. Uh, very possible. An up throw is obviously super good. Yeah. <laughs> versus Captain Falcon. It is. He's gonna live that. This is not NTSC. So, uh, he lives. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the furthest point away from NTSC. Yeah. Yeah, like the north. <laughs> yeah, north, north of north. Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> no NTSC <laughs> here, <laughs> my guy. <laughs> that's, that's NTSC? Never important. heard of it. Yeah. Oh, Jack does not the eye out of the down air. Which is what you need to do to recover in that situation. Yeah, he um, might have been able to live the uh, nair as well, right? Maybe. But, you know, you know, it's Ganon. He... Jack's gonna throw that last well, stock I don't know away. what I think about that. Just... You know, like I mean, throwing a stock obviously can be good. I, I don't know Jack, right? Well, but, uh, personally, I never think it's a good idea, but that's me. No. This is a weird stage yeah, this is choice from, from Jack, I'd say. I uh, mean, they were kind of going at it, even yeah. on Dreamland, so... And Peach is notorious for her, <laughs> you know, down smashes on this oh stage. Yeah, with the plat sure. Like, at r the platforms on this stage, like you see right here, they're going upwards and downwards all the time, which can make it really scary to be beneath Peach here. So, uh, I'm not sure. But, yeah, uh, like, I don't know. Maybe this is, like, Jack's favorite stage. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I mean, if you're sub right now, um, I think you're in a good place mentally. Especially since Jack, you know, threw yeah, away the yeah, last yeah, stock. Exactly. Um, That's, like, a boon to your mental yeah. health. <laughs> right. Um... But Jack is looking, you yeah, know, a lot stronger here. I I agree, for sure. 
And, uh, you know, he's not really... Oh, wow, all these dares. They hurt. A lot. <laughs> yeah, they do for <laughs> sure. But, Sangy uh, with these scary <laughs> command grabs. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he, he seems a bit lost as to utilizing the platforms himself. So, yeah. You know? Oh, that was a really oh, yeah. nice take from Jack. Uh, important, I'd say. Extremely. Oh, yeah, yeah, now yeah. it's like that, that's like the biggest yeah. swing ever. Yeah, right. Don't tech into getting the kill. Whoa. Okay. Okay. He, he lives, but he's faced. Yeah. Like he's he's getting flustered. Yeah. But he shouldn't give up. It's very no, doable. No, this is doable. Absolutely. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Be careful, exactly. man. Be careful. <laughs> but that's a nice scary version. Numbers. Yeah. Oh, the down B. But, you know, he's kind of entered the territory where Jack can do almost anything he wants, you know? Yeah. He's just kind of... Just throw stuff out, yeah. pretty much. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Um, that's a scary situation to be in versus a heavy yeah, hitter. Oh, exactly. he grabs that in the air. Like, you want, the Ganon, you want the Ganon to... To feel super limited, right? That's like yeah. the matchup. Yeah. <coughs> and Jack is not feeling very limited. No, I think, I think he's feeling currently. like he, unlimited Jack <laughs> going at it. Jack unbound. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like, yeah, if if you're sub in this situation, you just have to be super careful. Take this stock off like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, still very doable. This. Yeah, and just not not get hit by seven dares. Yes, right. I think that's, that's step one. Yeah, step one. Yeah, a one, pretty much. Um, oh, can we do something here? Back air. Oh, uh, oh, that was. It's it's really a, of course you know a double edged sword with these platforms. They can mess up your combo game and the positioning for sure, which we saw. There. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, I, it just seems like. Oh, okay. I was just about to say that, like, the platform usage has been oh. extremely wow, in Jack's favor, great. but it has. As I say it. Yeah. Commentator's curse, I guess. Uh, that's it. He did not. I think he dashed or something. Because that DI was not perfect. <laughs> well. Yeah. Good stuff still. Like he brought it back. Jack Unbound yeah. takes it. Jack Unbound takes it. That sounds like a magic the gathering card. <laughs> it does. It's also a Dragon Ball movie. Oh yeah. Bojack.